Good morning, Euro dollar this week. Well, the situation is of course is deteriorating in both Athens, Madrid and now also in Larnaca, Cyprus. The talk of this week will probably be whether Cyprus will officially ask for EU uh, bailout and if so it will be a rough 20 to 25 percent of this GDP which is around 22 billion euros. Uh, it is uh, 5 to 5, 4 to 5 billion euros so not a big deal relative to everything else but a clear indication that the funding and liquidity for the banks in Europe remains an issue. In Cyprus, of course, the situation is that the banks has been co-dependent on the Bank of Greece and is relying on and buying uh, and, and getting funding out of the Greek uh, financial sector, which is non-existent today. I'm just back from Athens myself and uh, surprised to see uh, how little crisis feeling there is in Athens. Indicates to me that the Greeks will try to hold out uh, as long as possible. And with the upcoming election on June 17th, of course, there is continued tail risk in, in the marketplace. Having said that, we've had a massive correction in euro dollar, which I think we pretty much has been expecting. We are now at the lower range of uh, uh, recent targeting. Uh, so I'll say this week is, is more of a balanced week. Uh, there will be renewed focus towards the EU summit uh, the week after next. And as such, there will be a lot of false stars as we saw last week. So remain with relatively uh, uh, dry powder in terms of your ability to trade and respect that the market will try to find uh, hope at, at every turn uh, it, it can. Uh, overall, the 124, uh, 123.50 right now is holding. Uh, upside 125, 125.50 needs to be breaking. So a clear range with the negative bias, but I would rather await uh, more information and, and a catalyst to re-enter a trade here. Uh, we have been short, but uh, are neutral now in Euro dollar. Uh, have a great week.